In today's video, we're going to break down the changes that are in 6.11 patch that is currently active on the PBE server. Welcome to Lotus Labs. Today, we'll be going to be talking about this patch. It's 6.11 PBE patch notes that's going to be active on the live server, if I'm not mistaken, on uh, in a week or something. But we'll see. Um, if there will be any changes in the official patch notes from this, I'm going to record a second video, but we're going to break down what are the changes currently here. So... Let's just straight up uh, dive into the informations. We've cleaned up some of the code related to the trajectory of grenade-like projectiles such as Sova Shock Bolt and Recon Bolt and Brimstone Incendiary. There should be no net difference, but we, if we end up missing anything, let us know. Hopefully they didn't change anything about the actual lineups that we have in those characters, because it sounds like they might affect it. But they're saying they won't, but we know that there were, there were some problems in the past with that. We've upgraded the sound generation engine in the game. This covers all sound except for voice chat and the teaser videos in the collection. Again, if we've done our job right, you should notice nothing different. But please let us know if you see here anything unexpected. Now, this is going to be very scary, at least for me. Um, any sound uh, engine upgrades are always very scary because they might change everything how you like perceive the game. Hopefully, as they say, there will be no changes, but uh, I'm very, 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 like, let's say, sensitive to audio changes and audio in general, so I'll be looking for this um, at this when it's going to be in the game. Hopefully, nothing will break. All right, agent updates. This is the things that are very interesting. So for Viper, there's a fuel regeneration, regeneration change. Reduce regeneration per second from 5% to 3.3, which is essentially an increase of almost 50%. It's kind of a weird calculation here. It comes from 5 to 3.3, but the time to originate to max fuel is from 20 to 30 seconds. So it's like, it's straight up 50% more, but the regeneration per second doesn't seem to be halved. Maybe I'm stupid at math. But anyway, this is a huge change that I think... I, if I would still be playing Viper, this would f just break my balls. Um, in rank, this is going to be awful. For pro play, it's probably needed. Um, because of the issue with when you have, let's say, gaps. What I mean by that is, let's say you're playing Bind uh, with a Viper, and you also have a Harbor, or Pell, or whatever. And you're able to play defense on B, for example, bind with a Viper wall. And then whenever the Viper wall is down for the 15 seconds, because if you only have the Viper wall active, the fuel is lasting 15 seconds. So then you have 15 seconds of timer when you will not have fuel, essentially, that will be again for 15 seconds up. So like that very big TLDR, right? And then Harbor comes in, and does the same wall in that duration when it regenerates. Now with 30 seconds, that's not gonna happen because you're gonna have a gap of over 10 seconds now when you cannot put a harbor wall or a viper wall up. And yeah, and then there's gonna be a gap for the opponents to actually push through because otherwise this gap was just few seconds. So you had to coordinate really well and it could be also very easily stopped by the defenders by putting another piece of um, another piece of utility in that few small seconds gap in between the Viper wall and the Harbor wall. So I, I'm solely thinking that this is the only reason why is this being changed. Like the combination of Harbor and Viper together because they are able to like cut off the half of the map with a smoke that it's almost never going down, potentially, right? So um, for ranked, this is gonna feel awful. Uh, I can't imagine how awful it feels right now with already all the fuel changes because I literally scrapped playing Viper and I just play it from time to time uh, and it never feels good. But for someone who's maining Viper, this change will, if, I don't know. Like if you put up, your smoke and your wall, they're going to be up for seven seconds. So two skills. I, I don't feel like there's value in, in, in playing Viper and Ranked. I'll be honest with you. Like, you have two pieces of utility, your wall and your smoke, that are to, like binded together because of the fuel. 
But if you use those two skills together, they only have an effect for 7 seconds and then they have no effect for 30 seconds. That is like crazy to me that you can't use two pieces of utility like with more value than this. All right, so it's very awkward, uh, but for pro play, I do think it's necessary. So unlucky for you, ranked Viper players. Now, Chamber, uh, disable ranged, sorry, trademark. This is the, um, this is his trap. Disable range from 4,000 points to 5,000 points. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, um, we're going to have to look at the minimap, uh, but this changes a little bit. Like, it's not a big factor. It's on defense. It helps you a little bit with, uh, like, having an off angle and still having a trap somewhere on the other side. On Lotus, I think you'll be able to play more freely when it comes to the trap location on one side and then be on the other. So that's an upside. But in general, that's not really a big change. On attack, it doesn't really change much because that's that's not that big of a, of a number to make it now freely to lurk as a chamber while still having this active. So I don't think that's a big of a change. This one is, although, very big. The trap arm speed goes from 4 seconds to 2 seconds. So you can actually use it aggressively. Because with the 4 seconds cooldown, sorry, not cooldown, but the animation to actually start it working, with 4 seconds, it was just awful. Let's say you, you have the trap active, you want to check a corner because you're just going into a corridor and there's a 50-50 angle, and you're putting down the trap, and you had to wait 4 seconds for it to have an effect. Like, that was crazy. That was absolutely mental. So I'm happy to see this being reduced to two seconds, so it actually can be used in a more aggressive fashion as well. Rendezvous instant equip out of teleport. Now, that's, I think, needed, because um, with just the one teleport, you're very close to your opponent if you're being dashed on. Uh, so far, you only had, like, been uh, able to um, equip your gun uh, faster with the headhunter only. Now, with this instant equip of the teleport... You're going to be able to do that with every gun, which is okay. I think that's fine. Um, Tour de Force is firing firing rate increased by 15%. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Tour de Force now and the Operator have exactly the same shooting speed uh, after the nerf, from what I remember. And now with this firing rate increased by 15%, makes it just slightly better. Which is, I think, fine. Like chamber, this those changes will not make chambers super active now anyway. So this is gonna be, uh, this is just gonna be a small buff for the ranked players. But for pro play, I don't think this changes anything. Uh, you're still gonna have a killjoy uh, and cipher being played on every map. Although I do think there are some maps where you can play both killjoy or cipher and chamber. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be um, anywhere. Po like popular even with those changes those are not that big Yoru's fake card can now be visually affected by concussing abilities I wonder if this is only like visual or it actually slows down the, slows down the, the clone if it's possible to stun it and slow it down which is awesome it's gonna be harder to read if someone is a clone or not um, so that's very, very important. I wonder, like, th th there might be some inconsistency here, because if it, if if the fake-out can be visually affected by concuss abilities, why on earth is he not affected by flashes? Right? That's just weird. Like, what about fade prowlers? Are those affecting our fake-out? Why is it so inconsistent, right? Why just concuss abilities, but not the others? We're gonna we're gonna have to test this 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 out, because it seems to be very weird. Um, but it's a good change for the Euro players to increase players' discernibility. That's not an easy word for me. The timing of Omen of Form from the Shadows voice of a line has been slightly pushed forward. Okay, not important. We've updated the ability action icons will be more consistent. Okay, never mind. Uh, map updates Pearl is disabled. No, oh, okay. Uh, if you are wondering about the Pell changes, I made a video just last week about the changes of Pell when I was in Berlin, uh, and they are awesome. So if you want to hear my opinion about that and analysis of what they change, um, just go back one video. Combat report now shows allies dazed in addition to enemies dazed for all conquest abilities. Oh, good info. Um, now, sh th those are really big changes here. 
uh, that we're gonna see. Like weapon and currency on the zip lines is something that I was complaining for the past three years. So I'm very happy to see it being changed. I don't think it's actually big enough, uh, big enough of, of an F. I actually think this is still too accurate uh, because minimum spread on ropes increased to 65% of the walking spread. Like what the hell? That is not even walking spread. This is just like less. So you still have like uh, um, pretty good accuracy. I don't know. We'll see. We're, we're going to test it out, but I don't think this is big enough to actually make it like feel okay. This is probably going to still feel pretty bad to shoot from zip lines. I mean, sorry, to shoot from zip lines will feel good because you're going to have consistently getting, you're going to get consistently kills still from it. So we'll ch test it out once it's on the server, but uh, I'm happy that they changed a little bit because it definitely was too much. Walking and running speed on ropes increased to match the walking running speed on the ground. Yeah. So the thing so this messaging makes me think that this is not enough. Because if the spread is matched to the ground, but your um your speed on the ropes is faster than on the ground, that essentially means you have a higher chance of killing someone while being on a rope than on the ground because you're faster, right? You know what I mean? Like, you're moving faster. Anyway, um, Shorty. Uh, that's a... Uh, okay, so I made an entire video about Shorty and I disagree with this change because I don't think it, it does much. Um, it's like in the middle ground of what I wanted. Like, reserve ammo adjusted from 10 to 6 doesn't change anything. Like... You were using four bullets max. You're not spamming this gun, right? And uh, essentially, you either kill someone or you get killed. The only time you can reload is if you survived a, an encounter. So this is meaningless, this change here. The price adjustment is not big enough, in my opinion. 300 credits is still very cheap for a gun that is able to kill people uh, with just one shot. Now, the question is... Damage at no fall of adjusted from 12 to 11. Um, so this will matter for someone who has a full shield. Because if I'm not mistaken, with consistent damage to the chest, you might be not able to deal 150 damage at a no fall of damage. But above 7 meters, you have the damage fall of adjusted from 8 to 6, which is huge. This is like a huge decrease in damage. Now, the problem I see with this is that this gun, if it will be inconsistent at dealing high damage, then at close range, it will lose its purpose. But the cash is gonna be big enough for it to, like, already start lose, I don't know, like, impact? We'll have to see in the game, um, because this is gonna be kind of awkward. I don't know. It's like one of those changes that I feel like could be, uh, could be different, you know? Like, uh, let me actually go to the practice range. Uh, and check something, because uh, with the shorty change, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we deal 12 damage per bullet, per, not bullet, what is it called when shotgun pellets, uh, per pellet, right, up, unto, up until 7 meters, so if we hit someone, let's say we take the shorty, right, we go towards this bot over Where's the bot? Hello? What happened over here? What? What the hell? Oh, they changed it. Okay, that's nothing new. Okay, never mind. Haha, <laughs> I learned something. Alright, so, um... Uh, didn't see this in the best. So, as you can see here, body is 12 damage up until uh, 7 meters, right? So, if we are 7 meters away, this is 6. We're gonna hit the body 15 times. It's 180. Is that the maximum amount of pellets? Let me check. Yeah, so we have 15 pellets, right? Typically, you're gonna be like shooting and you miss, you're gonna hit around 11 to 12. Let's see. This is 12. So this is 140 damage from over this range. This is 13 for 154. So you're you're like 
inconsistently gonna be dealing damage because you're gonna be doing one less than this so this is gonna be a huge change and we're gonna be very very high rng when it comes to like low shields because you're gonna have very inconsistent damage and now you can see this i, I hit someone 13 times right 13 right let it reset 13 times 156 now what after the, the <laughs> fuck did I just after the, after the nerf the same thing that you hit here is gonna be 11 times less so it's gonna be 121 so the difference between killing and injuring a player is gonna be huge in the same range so it's gonna be inconsistent now above eight meters is gonna be awful because it's gonna deal six damage to the body right so imagine this we're over eight meters right this is eight meters so this is gonna be now the fall of damage and before the fall of damage let's pay attention it's eight now but after the change is gonna be six as it is for the legs so we can literally make a comparison here so when we hit the bot in the body only it's 126 damage here but if we're gonna hit it in the legs it's 64 pet and huh. all right it's yeah math math and valorant Anyway, the, I think the changes are going to be actually detrimental to the gun because it's going to be inconsistent and you, you will be feeling cheated out because the gun will not do what it's meant to do because it's, it's, it's expected to kill a person, right, from up close. But you might not be able to do that because the gun will lose its identity. So that's why I think the gun should be even more expensive but actually be more lethal. So it's not easy to buy it every round and because the problem of the shorty right now is the fact that it's just too cheap. So everyone buys it and everyone has a chance to kill someone. But if the gun is going to cost 400 or 500, then you will not be able to buy it just every round, right? But it's, it's going to be like still people will buy it, but it's going to be inconsistent as hell. So it's like, what's the point? All right, Frenzy. Um, minimum spread increase from blah 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 from 45 to 65 spread curve adjusted uh, minimum sp maximum spread reached in five bullets instead of six yeah, it's actually a pretty big change for frenzy this is actually pretty nuts when you think about it, it this kind of was already nerfed and this is the second time it's getting nerfed so this is um this is pretty awful for the for the gun itself but at the same time it was one of the best guns or the worst guns in the game now it's gonna be a slightly more bad recoil pitch curve adjusted maximum recoil will be reached in five bullets instead of six total recoil is lowered to compensate ah okay interesting so even though you're gonna kick into the maximum recoil earlier it's not gonna spike over so it's gonna be um harder to kill someone within first bullets but if you're good at controlling the gun you're gonna still have it's gonna still feel the same later on when you just like empty the clip but it's gonna start happening earlier because of the uh, maximum spread uh is gonna be at the fifth bullet instead of the sixth still pretty big change um and now we have error power so also known as center biasing for us is a tool we utilize to reward accuracy by basing biasing shots towards the center of the crosser we've made the adjustments to significant significantly reduce center biasing while in any movement states beside walking or stationary as a result guns will be less accurate when fired while moving as shots will have higher chance to be further from the center of the crosser now good change how big of a change is this i have no idea because there are no numbers here so we can't really comment on it unless we see it in the game and then so the cape dynamics were redone and smoothed out for the third time i think uh which is okay and the other ones are not really important all right i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown once this once this patch hits live server we're gonna change uh maybe some opinions because maybe something will be changed from pbe uh, remember those changes are the proposed and tested changes on the pbe so far they were all accurate when it comes to the live patch notes but they might not be the case this time around so we'll see thank you for watching see you guys around